Hey, what's up everybody? Listen, we all get stuck in a rut when we're going after our goals. We have a vision for where we're going, but when it comes to taking action and doing something, that's another story altogether. See, a lot of people say what separates those that are winners from wanters is taking action, and that's the gap between getting to where you want to go. Often we get into these ruts. There is a method to get out of a rut that a lot of people don't talk about in business. A lot of times people in business or in life, this applies by the way to every single area of life, they do it naturally. They have a natural inclination to do what I'm going to tell you right now, but they don't even realize that they're doing it and often these people think that this is the secret sauce that makes them special above of the other people that, you know, Winners do this, losers don't, and so I'm special because I'm better than everybody else for knowing how to do this. And this is arrogance and pride that believes that they are superior because they know how to meditate and they know how to do that. And so don't let anybody put you down or make you think that just because they are successful and take action that they're better than you in any possible way. You need to get your mind in a place of going after those goals after those visions and the secret sauce is this like i said some people naturally are intuitively inclined to do this other people have to learn how to do it and what it is is it's taking 20 30 minutes to quiet your mind and your emotions and to pray to visualize where you're going and to see yourself doing the steps and I pray and I ask God and I say, show me how to do this. And I just spend some time, usually it's either sitting in a chair, laying on a couch and looking and I just, I just meditate and I just say, okay, here's the step. Okay, this is the point where I click the mouse on my computer. I upload that to the, the Squarespace site. I put the blog post up and I do that thing. And I actually visualize myself doing each step. And then when I... Feel as if, this is where uh, people disagree. When I feel as if I've done it, I get that emotion, that charge, I feel the confidence as if I've already completed it. I immediately then go and take action and do the exact thing that I visualized. Okay? And so I'm visualizing myself doing it from start to finish. Meditating with prayer. And then I take action doing it. Where a lot of people miss it is they visualize stuff start to finish and then they never take action. So the secret sauce is this. You visualize it and then a second once you hit that point where you feel like, okay, I've done it. You then take action and do the exact same thing that you visualized one to one. And yes, the results are different. People who don't take action don't get results. Yet so often people are afraid to talk about this. They're afraid to admit that all they do is they just visualize themselves doing it and then taking action. And so I don't want you to ever feel inadequate because you don't take action or because you get stuck in a rut. Last night I got stuck in a rut, a big one. For for a week I wasn't doing the thing that would change my life in my business for my wife and I. And it was only a two hour process. And so I spent 30 minutes visualizing myself doing it. I took two hours, I did the work and boom, got it done. And I realized, you know what? I need to share this with people. I need to share with people that I get stuck in ruts all the time. In fact, when I go live most of the time doing these videos, I'm actually terrified to do them. I'm actually, I don't even know sometimes what I'm gonna say. But I walk through and I visualize myself doing these live videos. I see myself saying these words. I even walk myself through maybe the first two to three minutes of the video. What I just shared with you, I actually already walked through two to three times this morning without the camera on. And then I went live and did it and trusted that the rest of the words would come as I did that. And so I want to encourage you of this. That if you're struggling to take action in those things that will help you get to the next level, you're stuck in a rut of not taking action, 
try this. Take 30 minutes to quiet yourself, to quiet your mind, to sit down, to get rid of the distractions, to stop thinking that you're so busy that you can't do this, and to just take some of that time to visualize what your next step is. Thank you, Darby. I really appreciate that. <laughs> it's awesome. I want to share this with people. Like You have to meditate. And for me, it comes from a step further. I visualize it and then I ask God to fill the gaps for me. What don't I know? What don't I have the answer to? What could I have never known? What have I never even read in a book before that God can show me where to learn, point out, okay, go get that book now and learn that and trusting and praying and asking God to direct my footsteps. Asking, saying, I don't know all this. I don't have it all together. And I don't even have time to figure it all out. But I need you to show me what I don't have and know. And then I go and I visualize that. God shows me a little thing. I visualize the next thing. And I meditate on that. And it's a repeated process of prayer and meditation throughout the day. Asking God to show us what we don't know. To put supernatural power on top of our natural human understanding. And when we do that consistently over time, I bet the first time, the first time I tried that, uh, I, I failed at doing something. I actually, I actually made some mistakes. I messed up. It, it affected even some other people in a bad way. I realized, okay, what can I learn from this? God, what do you want me to learn from this? And I prayed and I meditated, okay, next time when I do this. How can I do it better? You see, a lot of people are so afraid because they made a mistake of never getting back up again and, and doing it again, of never doing that. Or maybe somebody accused them of, of wrongdoing or, or somebody said, you know, you're not allowed to do that or that's just not how it works or you're just not special or elite enough to do that. Stay in your lane. That's for the special people who've earned the right to do what you say that you're doing. And I've heard this, a lot of people say this, you know, what, Jeremiah, what gives you the right? What gives you the right and understanding to speak on these things? You've never gone to seminary. You've never gone to college. You, you, half the stuff I talk on in these videos, I don't even, I've never really learned formally. It's just instinctual. And it's because I know that when I start to do something and it works enough times, I can share it with other people. When I start to really hone in and find what is that secret sauce that I can pass on to somebody? And then this is, this is the biggest thing is I'm actually not afraid to give away stuff even if I don't fully understand it, even if I don't fully understand how it works and just share testimony with people, just share a story with people. And so I hope this encourages you watching this video to try this out, to take some time this week Maybe you are in business. Maybe you want to do a Black Friday sale. Maybe you've never done a Black Friday sale in your business. Visualize yourself and pray and meditate. See yourself doing the Black Friday sale. And then go take action on that first step, that next step. Ask for help from people. Ask for help from people that have been there before. Read books from people. There's a lot of great books out there on stuff. If you have questions about business, running sales, marketing, that's what I'm here for as well. I do coaching with people. I'm actually running a Black Friday sale myself. That's what I was getting up last night was, was my Black Friday sale. And I was supposed to get it up last week, but I was, I was nervous to get that up. I was actually nervous to put out there my coaching package for people publicly. Uh, you know, People can buy either an hour of coaching with me or three hours and get my website building course for free when they do that. It's on my website and you can go check it out. Shameless plug. <laughs> But I want to encourage you, if you have those things that are in your life and in your business that you're afraid of doing, maybe it's just doing these live videos, maybe it's just getting up a sale, maybe it's getting up a landing page, maybe it's starting a journey with, with coaching even. Maybe you're afraid of doing something. See yourself doing it. Pray. Meditate. Ask God to show you and give you wisdom. Wisdom that goes beyond what you know in the natural. You know, don't let your fear 
or fear of what could happen or fear of negative consequences keep you stuck where you are right now. Go forward and move forward fearlessly with confidence and joy. Come from a place of joy. You see, whatever we fear, we empower. When I'm afraid of making mistakes, it's almost guaranteed that I'm going to make mistakes. But when I am confident and I know that, 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 that God knows more than me, and I, and I pray and I meditate and I meditate on his word and I read the Bible and I run those words through my head as well and it gets inside me deep, then I'm confident to know I can share stuff with people that maybe I wasn't formally taught but that I learned because of repetition and learned skill and learned understanding of things and then I can pass it on to other people in these videos. And so try it out, meditate visualize yourself doing it visualize yourself going from start to finish with your goal and then find what that next step is for you and hone in on that what's that next step what's that thing that i need to learn what's that thing that i don't know how to do what's that fear that i have why am i afraid of that you know maybe something happened in your past that is is triggering you based on events that happened a lot of us have stuff like that that's happened and we can have confidence when we pray and ask God, show me wisdom. What should I do next? Where should I go? And you know that when you do this over time, you'll start to, A, learn how to hear from God. You'll actually learn to hear in prayer wisdom <laughs> from God and his word of what the next steps are. And you'll be able to grow in understanding and visualizing things and seeing the next step before it happens. Seeing five, ten steps ahead. Try it out. What do you have to lose? Nothing really, because you're not really doing anything, but I would encourage you if you do that, <laughs> visualize, take action on one of those things that you visualize this week. Take action on one of those next steps that you visualize and see what happens. You might be surprised that it might've actually been the thing that will get you from where you are to where you want to be, or at least the next step along that path. Grow your life, everybody, and we'll talk soon.